Hey everyone, today it is mac and cheese, the cheesiest. Let me show you. My noodles cooked nice and firm, al dente, according to the directions on the box, and they are still a little bit warm. I'm going to toss into them four tablespoons of butter that I just cut up into cubes. Butter pretty much melted. And I'm gonna add a fourth cup of sour cream, about a fourth cup that I'm going to put right on in the pot with it. Make sure that's all nice and coated with the noodles. Grabbing two cups of half and half. Make sure you can see this. And I also have one egg that I'm gonna first crack. Make sure there are no shells. And they're on. Give a little bit of a whisk. Dump it right into my half and half. Mix it up some more. Real good. Then I'm gonna bring back my pot of noodles. And I'm gonna pour it right into the pot. My noodles soak up some of that half and half. Here is eight ounces of Kobe Jack that I shredded, eight ounces of Harvati that I shredded, and eight ounces of mozzarella cheese that I shredded. And I'm gonna just dump it right into the pot with my noodles. That is a lot. This is four cups of sharp cheddar cheese that I shredded, and I'm just gonna take a nice little handful, about a cup of it, and add it as well. In seasoning, I'm going with two teaspoons of seasoned salt, teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and a teaspoon of white pepper. Mix with a little bit of taste. Mmm. I don't need to do anything else, y'all, but to add two teaspoons, and I like to add a little bit of sugar just to offset the balance, so I'm going to sprinkle in, and this is two teaspoons that I'm using, and I'm going to get that all mixed in. My dish it might be too big, but we shall see. I'm going to butter it with about a tablespoon of butter or more, spooning in a layer of the macaroni. And I'm gonna just randomly add a few cubes of butter to this layer. It's about a tablespoon more butter. I'm gonna plop on a hefty amount of the sharp cheddar cheese right there on top of it. 
rest of the mix right there on top. And what I like to do is use to up the rest of that butter I had out. This is about like a less than a tablespoon. I'll put like about four pats here and leave it there. Then I have about a cup of evaporated milk that I'm going to dredge right over it. Like that. And I'm just using up this evaporated milk. And then I'm going to take the rest of this cheddar cheese, y'all. This sharp cheddar cheese. I'm gonna just Put it evenly on the top of it. Yes, and this is going to be really some cheesy macaroni here, y'all. And now I have the oven. It's preheated to 350 degrees. And this is gonna go into the oven to bake for about 25 to 30 minutes. But before I do that, what I always like to do with my mac and cheese is to first put it in the oven cover. So I'm going to cover it with some aluminum foil. And then, I'm gonna let it bake, cover for about 20 minutes, and then uncover for about 15. Right out of the oven, I actually let it bake for about 50 minutes, long enough that uh, I get these nice little golden brown edges y'all that's how you want your mac and cheese i know already that this is good look at that there y'all Woo! my goodness gracious my 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 look at that yes buddy and i tell you here we go look at that y'all how many y'all like y'all's with a little golden edges. Look at that, that y'all. Look at this here, y'all. That don't beat all. Put a little bit more here, too. Wow. What do you say to that, y'all? What do you say? Mm, mm, mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm telling you. You make this, they're gonna be wanting you to make this all the time. You're gonna be the one bringing it. All the time. Let me get some of that crust. Oh my goodness. Look at it, y'all. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Mm, 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 mm. Thanks for watching. Like the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Till next time. Bye bye.